Objection. Mr. Speaker, last week, President Obama was in Holland, Michigan, announcing the award of an economic stimulus grant to a Korean company, 300 jobs, $150 million, or at a cost of $500,000 per job, all financed by the American taxpayer. Every Republican in this chamber voted against the stimulus because we don't think that having the federal government pick winners and losers is a way back economically. We don't think borrowing over 40 cents for every dollar that we spend is a way to create jobs. We don't think that this out of control spending and piling mountains and mountains of debt on future generations is the kind of America that our founding fathers envisioned. But then the president, while accepting our state's gracious hospitality and respect for his office, chose to take a cheap partisan political shot at Congressman Pete Hoekstra, whose district he was in. President Obama is proving himself to be the most partisan president in our nation's history. And incivility will not create jobs. Instead, it's politics as usual. And it is certainly not change that we can believe in. I yield back. The gentlelady's time has expired. For what purpose, gentlelady from Colorado?